Guys, so it's Tristan here from Zebra Invest. I've just seen one of these posts that comes up all the time on the property forums and stuff on Facebook. How can you scrape right move Zoopla or on the market to be able to get all of the property listings in your area? So I'm going to show you exactly that, how you can find those data and how you can find the properties that are for rent or whether they're for sale, um, but using property data. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you how you can quickly find below market value deals, spot motivated vendors or possibly even landlords, work out what's a, maybe a buy to sell or a buy refurbish refinance deal and just show you just how easy property data makes it to do this. Um, as you'll know, I'm a bit of an advocate of this software and I think it's a great way to be able to find deals. Um, at the end, if you hang in there, I'll give you a discount code that'll give you 50% off your first month if you decide to go off and have a go at using property data and also give you a 14 day free trial. So I'm just going to head across and show you what you can do. So when you land on the property data homepage, this is how it looks. Um, if you've logged in or you've already got an account, you can then head straight over to local data. And the idea is here that we're setting up our kind of gold mine area, our local area that we want to target, hunt down and search through and find deals. And in this case, an area where we want to be able to scrape all of those properties and leads in one area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with um, somewhere like um, Birmingham. And then what we're going to do is Birmingham City Centre. Hopefully this will come up with a few results. Here you go. It's saying that it thinks there's too much data for it to be able to provide all in one go. So you can contract that area. And the other way you can do this as well that you would have seen is you can put in a, you can actually put in a postcode in the middle and then say how much of a distance you would like to go around it. It said I'm just doing it this way just to give you a good idea. So I'm going to click generate data and I'm now going to click run search. So that's now getting there you go, uh, all of those properties available in that area. And this is just the city center. And then what it does is as you can come down, you can see we've got scatter graphs. I'm just showing all the different types of properties that are available out there. So that's useful and that's interesting. But the first thing that I want to show you, so if you're looking at something where it's on the prices section, which we're on at the moment, this is all of the data that's coming up and available for properties that are for sale. If you wanted to do it for rental data and you wanted to scrape and export that rental data, you can simply click on rentals. And then again, it's going to do the same. Tell you what the price ranges are and what's kind of out there and available in the market. So that just makes it quite neat and quite useful. But you were asking Tristan, how can I export this data? How can we get hold of it all? So you can see here where it says analysis, map and data. I'm going to just click on data. Well, what that's now going to do is create a little table for us with all of that information and the, the useful resources that are there and that property data has for that area. So here you can see, look, it's coming up with all these properties saying who they're, lived, who they're listed with. The reason it's coming up with duplicates is, as I said, this is getting data from Rightmove, from Zoopla and from On The Market. But what you could do is you can then just click download and as you can see there, I'm doing this on my phone. But that's just downloading all of that data straight away. You can see, look, here you go. It's now come up with a CSV file, which you can open in something like um, Microsoft Office, Office 365. It's the same thing, really. Or you could just use uh, something like Google's, uh, Google Docs or whatever else. But here you can see now it's come up with all of those properties and all that data. Um, and what it's coming up with is, you know, it's saying what the postcode is, who the agent is, you know, and various little bits of data like that, which could then mean that you can turn around and say you can filter by this data across the top. So I'm just going to do that on here. Hopefully it's going to let us uh, do what I want to do. And then what we can usually do is, yeah, this way you're going to say, you see that I don't tend to use, but... Is this much? So you can sort of attach filter buttons to all of those, which we've just done there, which then means now, look, if we wanted to, we could just select. So I only want to have, say, text filters equals, I only want five bedroom properties. For example, there you go. And that's just limited it down on that spreadsheet to five bedroom properties. And then look, then you could turn and say, look, well, that's a five bedroom flat. That's a lot better price. 
and you can turn around and say how many days you want that property on the market for. That's all well and good, um, but you could actually do that all on property data as well. You've got this whole spreadsheet here of what's going on, and you can do it where you can sit here, you can sort it by, I don't know, so let's go with how long it's been on the market for, and I want it to be descending. So what that's now doing is saying all of the stuff, and this is where you're trying to work out who's a bit more motivated. The stuff that's sitting at the top here is going to be the stuff that's been on the markets for the longest amount of time. And that could be a great way to be able to find someone who's a bit more motivated or they want to get rid of that deal or that property. You can also use filters here and you can add filters. So we could turn around and say um, we only wanted it to be only want a property where it's been on the market for greater than 90 days. So say that's for example. Um, so that means it's coming up with anything that's um, been on the market for at least almost three months or so. And you could turn around and say, look, we only want something where... Um, I don't know, here we go, we can turn on to say we want a house and we only want something that says house in the description. So that now means that we're only going to get, you know, houses that are on the market for sale that have been on for more than three months. That's just whistling it down there. And then uh, you now might see, sit there and think, you know what, the, these vendors are more motivated than most. The other bit, as I said, I'd show you how you can do it for rental data if you're trying to find rent to rent, so you're trying to whittle those down. So if we go into the rent section, you can use the exact same thing here. We click onto data and you can also do HMO room data. That's so then you can jump in and see stuff that's come from spare room. So here you go. Again, we've got, and I, and I did a great video the other day, if you want to watch it on rent to rents and how to find them to deal source them or whatever else. But you can now, you know, filter, download this data exactly the same way as we did before. And then what you could do is you can apply the same filters. So if we turn around and say, look, I only want to have a, it's got to have at least, it's got to have at least four bedrooms. And then I want something, for example, I want the rent is less than or equal to, I don't know, say for example, £1,200 a month. And that might just be the, the parameters that you use for finding your deals. And here you go, you know, this is just punched out two that have come up. And then you can just click on those. Hey, that one's been on for a little while. And it gives you all the data to show you what's there. Four bedroom terrace house. I have no idea. I've never, I've only been to, um, I've only been to Bournemouth once or twice. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure whether this is a good deal or not. But you can also see, it gives you details for other stuff that's for sale. Or for let's so you can see oh well actually this property is for rent quite close by they're renting for looks like about 14 1500 pounds this one's actually 400 pounds a month maybe under market value and then we'll see oh it's actually in quite nice condition they've even got an online viewing there's all nice new furniture in there as well but it's just saying this one's actually had less agreed on it but that gives you a good idea of how you can quickly work through and find a deal and effectively scrape and download all of that data from property, from right move, Zoopla and on the market, but using property data. So there isn't a way, I don't think, on right move or Zoopla to be able to download it yourself, but this is a great way to be able to get hold of it. So if you're thinking of signing up to property data, personally, I have what's called the Max account, and the Max account gives you unlimited searches, allows a deep dive, find all the data and the types of properties that you want. Um, but to do that, if you're thinking of signing up, head over to Cutly, which is C-U-T-T dot L-Y forward slash property data with a capital P and a capital T. If you enter the code Z-E-B, um, then that'll give you 50% off your first month. And you're also going to get a 14 day free trial. Um, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Uh, I've just found property data extremely useful. And in the last two weeks, I've actually found Touchwood. We're just getting all the, the funding and everything sorted. But a deal through uh, finding it, found it through property data. That should net a six-figure profit. So it's well worth signing up. Um, hopefully that's been of help and of use. And if anyone else out there is trying to you know, mine through the data and try to work out how you can find some great deals, then hopefully this will really help you. If you've got any questions... Please comment below. Uh, I should ask for a like, a subscribe, anything else to my channel and uh, go from there. But have a great evening. Bye.